I, Philip Wulu, commonly known as General Rambo, do solemnly swear that my testimony that I come to give to the TRC and Liberian people of Liberia is the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me go. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Good morning, sir. I want to say welcome and thanks for coming yes, sir. to the TRC. Did you say your name is General Rambo? Yeah, your that's, my name. that's my name within a revolution. Within a revolution? Yes, sir. And it's our information that you volunteered to come to the TRC? Yes, sir. Your name was not published by the TRC. Yeah, my name was not published by TRC. Man said it. And during the hearings, nobody mentioned your name. No, sir. Okay. Well, I guess you came because you have information to give to the TRC. Yes, sir. You have experience you want to share with the TRC. Hold that. And you believe that the truth will contribute and help to bring about reconciliation and yes, peace sir. in our country, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so we'll give you the opportunity. Uh, it should be as brief as possible. Yes, sir. So that when commissioners are asking you questions, there will be opportunity for you to say more on some of the things you want to elaborate on. Okay, okay. I will thank you for coming. And before you commence, I want to introduce commissioners who are here present so that uh, you can know who we are and who yes, we've been interacting with. Commissioner Sheck. Kafuma Conan yes, is sir. on the, the right flank of the panel. Yes. Next to me is Commissioner Per Brown Boo. Next to her is Commissioner Hun Sila. On the left is Commissioner Gerald Coleman. Oh, yes. Sorry. Immediately sitting at my right is the Vice Chair Commissioner Dede Dolope. Okay. I am Jerome Freddy. I know you, sir. Okay. So we say thanks and thank welcome. Right. Please proceed and tell us what happens. Okay. Happens. I thank God today to come here to be able to confess what we have come past within the long period of war that we fought in this country. And I'm picking from 1979 because that's where I got into a revolution as a board. And my getting into this revolution was that... You, just, for, just a minute. Can you first give us some brief background? Okay. Your, your, your um, name is Philip Wulu, right? I'm Philip Wulu, born 1962, November the 29th. November 29th? Yes, sir. And which foreign faction are you associated with? I was trained by the AFL 1988. Okay. I fought for the AFL before asking for TDY 1991 to go to Yulemo at Seven Okay. <coughs> okay. Then I had to train the Lofa Defense Force by the late Francis Massacre in Bon Mine. Okay. And we had a split in Yulemo where I was fighting for the Yulemo J against the Yulemo K. Okay. Then I was called upon immediately from Kakata by the Bafele Waba Kama and uh, our brother uh, George Bole to carry his forces LPC to Flower Bay, be Cameron to go to Sano County. Okay. And one of the funnel of the last forces learned, community called dissident, 
which I was using the day as Brigadier General Brigadier Johnson at the time. In Lofa. Which is 1999. 1999, what happened? Form. You have to form. The dissident force that entered into Liberia. Right. Lofa. Okay. Yes, sir. No NPF buildings. I never fought for NPF and INPF. Okay, thank you. Please proceed. Thank you, sir. So, I thank God today the flow that you have given me to start my confection. During the 1998 war that came to Liberia, at the time I just left the training days where we graded, I from the anti sectoral unit from Nama and 72nd, which at the time Colonel Jali was my commander at 72nd BASU. When the war came, we were recruited because we were the tolerance that used the heavy weapons. They would recruit us as a squad to go with the infantry, which we went to Camp Lake Utuo. We did where all we could, and we couldn't stand the forces of MPFL. At that time, we were one force MPFL. We did our best. There was no way because first time of the AFL soldier to get into war. So what the people call rebel and whatsoever, you know, they were looking strange to us. Because when we go, we don't know who is the rebel. So who can you fire? No. So for every time we hear gunfire, we run. Before we see ourselves, we were at red light. When we got to red light, the system of AFL change into complete travel lesson. Where we have some view, man and brothers, we all do training together. They were adapted overnight by some of our AFL brothers and carry them and kill before in the morning we see body roaming around the street. But what's going on? Rebel have you come over the area? What, what, what's going on? But that knew it was a secret agenda by some of our brothers killing their own uniform brother. To my greatest surprise, when I was son at Papa Pink, engaging the MPF rebel, I heard that four days in the morning that Lutheran Church were attacked. Then, what was going on? He said, We don't know. But God was involved to be able to judge between the MPFL and the AFL. What we know is why our own people that did it. But you see, within the AFL, just the same as all of rebel forces, the AFL within the PRC government has their own Benjamin Yaten. And this Benjamin Yaten was one Harris Penner, two Tele. Three Sayukele. Tele and Harrison Penham was the one that led the troop to this military church that came on this massacre. When those found out, a mother felt that he couldn't do anything about it because the war was already against us. We did our best. At the end, he do left us and went to Freeport that he was caught by Prince Johnson and killed. We feel that the war was over because was do. But as a free man, you cannot allow this and or whosoever to just walk through and come and just grab somebody out to go into Tulsa. So when we found out that, we thought the war was over. Some were happy and some others were not happy. 
But we look, the walk on the sky. Head run, head run, started. At the end, the Nigerian conditions came in because it was the Ghanaians at the time. When the Nigerian conditions came in, we all were happy, AFL one side, and the MPFA, INPFA on the other side. But to our greater surprise, when Claudio on the 1991 came as an interim president, Prince Johnson was dissatisfied because he wanted the presidency. So he continued harvesting and giving talks that were not in place of peace. To our greater surprise, they went to a meeting across there and set up what they think they could set up by echo. That they opened the door for him on a Friday that I can still recall, 1991. To our greater surprise, when we look, they attacked our position at 12 noon that Friday. But going to Hardy was that. We are eating little food because we were under the suppression for almost three months, no food. So after we got a little energy and got used to them and the brother attack, God gave us the power that we overrun them. And we had a victory for that day. That dissolved him, Craig Johnson. So I start to hear about you limo. From seven of what did you leave from seven of was three soldiers of the 6th Infantry Battalion from Bombay Hill that retreated to seven of which Captain Carpet was the ambassador as one of the three commandos of Liberia. So he started putting the men together and start to train them into the guerrilla warfare. Because we the air can only know several infantry, but not go right away. It's a different category from the infantry. So our brothers start to honor go for every time they come and hit the bowler, they fail, they couldn't cross. For every time they come and hit for go five times, they hit that bow on the side that they fail. So I went to come out. We were about 15 soldiers, the late dragon, we were even many, many of, of our brothers because of our egg they tried. And so he was to stay fight. We asked for TV work. And we got out of the post and sleep and we went to seven. But the week we got to seven was that Allah Haji Jimmy Kroban were in Guinea and sending his men from Guinea to seven at the Tuaman base. In seven months. When they start getting enough in the maze, argument started that we the train soldiers the way to behave when we try to tell them how to behave, they get annoyed that they are not liaising from us. They had a leader that they liaising from them. We say, well, when you're doing that, then it will be hard for me and you to move. The all over leader is stopping. How are you talking about saying your guy that leader said we're from Guinea? You know, some of them don't really speak the English well. Well, they were broken English. But I knew Philip Kamara at that time. The late Philip Kamara. To our greater surprise, the week that we go there, where the late free car as the bottle front commander told us that immediately we have to leave. Nothing should stop us but to cross. That day he said we'd be in the front. And we were dispatching from home base to the bowler. The next morning when we were assassination against Kappa. And what's going on? They say Kappa died. But Ama Yulu, the late Bambangira, we just finished Kamara brother. And others have carried on this overthrowing on carpet. Ah! Why well, am I you can do like this? Free Kara said, with all that they are doing there, 
If we stay in seven room, that means the revolution will not go. So we have to cross today. We left the problem in Sevelu and we forced our way by the bridge of Bogolosa to cross to Lavin. And when we cross, three cars down the bridge down and then they come there with so many soldiers. We crossed with our no gun. Before we could see ourselves, we were in Bombay. Here. But my people, let me tell you something. Revolution. On a question of rebel, there is nothing good in it. There is no rebel leader that formed or forced and said that I gave you Babel. Or I gave you Sasa to go and then squatch up. No. It was a die down operation. You die free if you live fun. You wound it, it left with you and what you think you get within the war. If your people can maybe turn to sustain you to go through with your medical help, then you get back on your feet and continue the revolution. That's about it, about revolution. So when we were coming and getting some great attack from NPFL, many of our brothers were getting afraid. Because everybody know how dangerous NPFL was. I could hear a woman that pregnant open the stomach and want to know the child whether that boy or gay. They grab you as a fighter or maybe by your trap, they cut your hairs and sell it on the drum. So we form our own strategy. That bar has to pay back. So within our unit, we formed the power saw unit when we were using power saw. That if we catch any of the MPF fighter, we lay you down just as a saw plane that how we saw you. And take your interest across the gate and set your head on the road. Yes, it happened within you living. We have our bow and arrow unit that we call the bare feet unit. In your limit. But as we advance to this stormy break, as far to Poor River, there was one of the dangerous commander of MPF and called Barre. From that by era that we ran behind, and I was so hot that I wanted to catch it. But God slipped him from me to the Poor River. When you go there was a little child because we were standing in the bridge and looking at them because they were market people, civilians, so we couldn't go across because Echo was there. But as I was looking at him because you were ready, I needed him to kill him. But my hand didn't lay on him that he was already in a safety zone. As I was looking at him, they let it came because everybody heard that Ulemo had taken Paul River. So people came to see the new forces at Ulemo. When I looked, this woman came with a cup of water in it. But it was not water. It was acid water. And I for excuse and went and money group to see Barry. And as soon as she got over here, she took this acid water and wasted it on him. And said, My son that you killed at what is your pay. Ekobo tried to apprehend him, but because of the too much Liberian that we ran, tried to plunk. Ekobo left the woman. And when they took Barry and put him in the back of the in triple base. While we were at Port River, Prince Joseph King, he said, gentlemen, we are one. We said, no, but we are your limo. And you are IMPF, how you say we want? He said, gentlemen, I got no enemy shape that gives you. Taylor is the problem. So you are thank you very much because you're always attacking me from the rear. So say you are clear with all our one brothers. We accepted him, shook hands with him on the bridge. Brent Johnson brought rights. He brought few ammunition and turned over to you, Lim. We'll go ahead 
the birth of 1991 until 1992 autobus because we were only relaxing in Bombay Hill and back and even civilians from Morovia knew that Bombay Hill was the same heavy so many of them flee and went to Tonnenberg children going to school no one could fire gun in Bombay Hill no one would ask anybody you went try where you going where you coming from no the attack fell into Morovia we were at Port River Bridge the next morning up to 6 o'clock the Guinea contingents came to the bridge to tell us that it is not easy in Morovia that when we don't try to cut the MPF will overrun Morovia because they are already attacking the bay so they say so you need us to go to Morovia they say yes so we say okay no problem, we will come. They said, but we brought trucks for you to get in the trucks to go. We said, no. We believe in our two lives. When they get all the logistics, before the morning hour, we will be there. And they listened to us. Gave the logistics to our commanding general, which is the late T. Carla. We have free Carla. His little brother D is T. Carla. He was the commanding general that led us from the Bow Wallace to Bombay Hill from Bombay Hill to Port River. When they gave us the instrument, before the morning hour for two we were at, Nubutan, Douala, and the Quarway. We were able to fight them and push them from that Nubutan end all the way until we facing a Quarway at the bridge. We stayed in the city for two weeks combating with the MPFL at a hallway. God will help I, the late Apollo J. Swan, I'm going the late Sarah, the state lady, the late remote control, who the Duru ball after carrying on the shelling, the bomb came between all and smashing up that he died. But through the shelling of crossing that bridge, we were able to overrun MPFL from Portway. When we overrun, that we put the city on a lay comfort, which at the time Taylor was shelling his 106, 155, and the Grand Mesa into Morovia. One of the commission here today, when he stay here, he will attest to say yes. There were one of the 106 bombs that flew and went directly in the house. It killed a fellow and I think a little girl on the capital bypass. Steven. Steven know me good, I know him well. After the shedding went on, they caught by the way of airfield to attack the airfield. We will even rain and we put things under control. They attack red light, which is 72nd by the Senegalese. We went there and assisted where we were able to push them with the Blackberry, the AFL, Ulim, Ulim, and Ekoma. We all emerged to push the MPFL. After having three weeks, Claudio came on air and said that he told we the Ulimo thank you for our hard work. But we should leave and go back to our base that Morovia is safe. We listened to his appreciation. We took our hands on our back and went back to Port River. But when we were to Port River, we were not satisfied. Because we know that Taylor will still continue on his pressure on Morovia because he wanted the position of presidency. At that time, Prince Johnson had free with the orphan children after killing the mother and father and keep the children on the base. Say he forming his own like SOS, destitute banner, uh, uh, banner children, where he feeling they're doing things. He ran with them, the Nigerian contingent helped him 
They gave him up. The high priest Joseph let him win. So we went back and we formed our strategy from that end that immediately we got to saw me when we group ourselves and move to Bokolu. When we went to Bokolu, we overtook Bokolu. And people think that I saw in Bokolu were very dangerous. Innocent children and women. I don't know who was that general in Bokolu of the MPFL. But they had children and women on the dryer. With fire drying them. What year was that? 1992. After the auto course of Morovia, we advanced for Bokolu. We met bodies on the dryer. We thought they were, you know, like, you know, people came to meet, you know, and have them dry. But when we went close and get to the dryer, we're leaving him on base. We put down the dryer and push those human beings aside. And immediately they let move from them to Toro Quere. From Toro Quere, we hit Handy. From Handy, we got over to Bomb Mines. We're in the city 92. We took bomb mines and received 52 attack. Where my brother Emon Chai, General Chai was the commander, grand commander in bomb mines. When I was there as the field commander, sent as Eki forces of the unit of Ulimo. But Ulimo are two battalions. We have the alligator and zebra. The zebra were controlled by the mandingos. That when we the alligator strike and capture the zebra whole ground. So when we were in Bomb Mine, where we had pepper and saw Jumbo Java Dumuya, Mami Wata, Kele Kamara, advancing for Lofa. You start to hate us. That your brother that going as you limo into Lofa is apprehending human being that the bush are really eating. We say, well, how do you that? We don't do that. They say, it's what happened in Chiefs, you know. Other people started coming to Kroma and some of our general special staff in Bomeo. And we started receiving on the radio so we say, well, he had to be so. We don't believe that we got people in our midst, even human being. No. But my people, Liberian people, let me tell you, today is the day that really I believe that our Mandingo brothers were terrible enough. That everything the Lofians were saying that we were denying, it came to we, the crown people. Which we were in the front line, advancing from Kakata. To our greatest surprise, there were divisions in Bombay Hill, where we had a same heavy for Liberia. When the new head officer said, no, you're joking. What must we fight among ourselves? They said, they're not fighting. General Sarkozy had been killed already. The bourgeois here, he had it on the dryer now, they are eating it with Atai. Damn. So the good thing that we're doing, and we are the only kind of people that Taylor now is afraid of that we're running beyond Taylor, you say beyond us. It's a split. They say, yeah. When we try to fall back, no understanding. Because who can we talk to? Do we have them there? Implementing people execution. They started collecting the crown trap all of Liberia. But what I would want to let the Liberian people know we were not fighting war on the principle of religion. We never knew that they bowed the idea at the Mandingo that they wanted to form their own unit to fight against the Liberian. Period. They were not mostly 
a Christian war. But because while they were implicated into the 1989 and 1990 war, that they died. And we, they were not part of the Liberian government or neither politics. So why they are killing them with the crown people? So they have to form their own forces to fight. But forgetting to know that we, the crown people, the training that was given to us was not all the training we gave to them. We were trained by the state. And they were trained by us. So it was part military training. We gave to these our brothers that were willing to school the battle to fight with us. When we call GV, no understanding. When we call Johnson, no understanding. So I told my brothers that they were in Syria. Let me go to Morovia. They said, Rambo, you have to be careful. When the Moravian was there, but they said Roosevelt, Johnson, Chroma, all of them is in Moravia. Let me get to this Moravia to see what is happening. We can't sit in a bush here and things going wrong because somebody might think, brother, in our midst, are we going to kill them? No. Yeah, that hold on. Because we all do things in common. So no any agenda you have for your brother. So yeah, let go. If someone said that, we will understand it from Moravia. They say, okay, Rambo, you can go. The how I left from Kakata and came to Monrovia. Tried to go from the time to GV era, it was hard because I'm not Mandingo man. Langaza, all these people when they see me, they pump me. So I met one of my best friends that we call Alahaji Tego, today he's a late. He said, Rambo. The thing that happened, we are good fighters to air our aid to be in our booth because they smoke. So we are not people to fire more ourselves. So me and Ethan are not going in our booth. I said, take what you are right. But I know why there is more you know, there's a blessing. We can't sit down and look at the thing to devour where the operation of the NPFL to smoke. So let's try to manage to see how we can see GBNC. Don't think to put the thing together. My people, when they saw that I were plumped into the revolution to find out from the two leaders at the time that went a lot of hair, Dubu Yaha formed the death squad from Bombay Hill to Morovia. Because my car at the time was Ulimo Moa that you see on it at the time I was major in the defund Ulimo when we were together. So Major Ramon were on the bus. He said, your boy, and make sure you are a tag Rambo and you're not here again yet. Because it's one of the dangerous fighters of the crown people. When you're not getting Johnson Boom, we're not break. You're getting. So at the night, I was able to meet with Roosevelt Johnson at the BTC barrier, where he was lodging in the house with Philip Wan Bakama. When I met him, I said, well, Roosevelt, what's going on? He said, that broke my But oh, what kind of thing too are you doing that kept innocent people in the bush there that we have to come back again for new fight? It's not fun. Why are you getting solved about this problem that we're coming to kill one another? He said, Rambo, it's not easy. It's not what's saying that with many others, but we got to stay. I said, really? I said, but then we can't fight the other war. Then I think I have to go home and forget about the war fighting. Taylor is our hospital, he's a mean man that we, we chase him. So to say, crown man, eh, 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 eh. Mandingo man, who died the same way by the NPF, you know, standing again and fighting him one said, killing one another. Then I don't want to say that I have to go home. My people leaving from the BBC barrier to get to my house, not knowing the way they have sent men power from Bombay Hill in collaboration with ECOMA. The ECOMA gave them badges that they used and pretended that they were ECOMA. And ECOMA understanding was that the war were on a religion background. And many of the ECOMA that came to this country, they were Muslims. Less Christians, we was the Ghanaians 
a few Nigerians were Christian. Like on Onia, the regiment commander in Kapata. Colonel Peter, the seven airborne commander at, how we call it, Fifinge. They were Christian. So the free flow of us on the Kapata Highway, we had the chance. Port River, no, was the Muslim. So Ekoma had the own secret split. So when I left to come home, they have adopted my wife. When my two children, she born two years, just within the period of that week before the incident occurred. Put them in the paper to carry them to Bomi Hill. So when I hear the other people say, oh, they just put your wife and children in the car. The people say they carry them to Bomi Hill, they went to execute them. I said, what? What is not in Morovia? And you live up, we don't have no ground here for somebody to come here to adopt somebody, children, to carry them. My children are the one fighting the war. Why they didn't wait for me? They say, Rambo, if you don't go now, it will be too late that they carry your children. So immediately I ran by to inform Ezekiah boy and fill it one by come and die. We in the bush, Morovia is on the flag of AFL. So if people will come as rebel into the town and start to hijack and carry people to the to, to the bush to kill them, then I will do more than what they think they're doing. If my wife and children don't come tonight. Said that Rambo is going from end to end to kill the Mandibos in Morovia. I need my children and my wife. If they want me, let them wait for me when I get to the front. But now my family in Morovia. So immediately, boy called the echo that the Black Hole River, through the speaking, my wife and children were in the pickup, that they were leading to Bombay. They were arrested by echo to the base the next morning. They brought them. So I let them went to the operation on the quarry in Khalifa. He had the gas station, today they call it the Donga gas station on the capital bank part. I went to him, I said, Siribi, he said, I said, we managed to see how we can put ourselves together, but you have put me to a challenge. I could do it to you in Monrovia here, but it will not look fun. Because anybody who feels that you want to die, you will go to the bush, not Monrovia. But my children and wife that you carried last night, I'm going for the challenge. And Bobby here will be captured. He said, Rambo, you can't make it. I said, boy, he said, boy, I will make it. You don't know me. You want to know me? I'm going. And I left. But before I could leave, there was an old man, my dear old man, because we were stranded for ammunition. Today he might die, calling one woman Kamara. I met him on the west side of Clay Street. I attacked him. He said, but what happened? I said, my diamond that you collected from Lofa Bridge, the one carrot, when you don't give me that 25,000, I will put you in my car and carry you to Kakata. I need it. And through that, the old man told me, but is that we were looking for way because we didn't have arms and ammunition to fight against the Yulemo King. So we were all desperate around, hunting to see how best we can manage. So when I engaged the woman, the MPs came in and carried her to the back. So I told the people, that have been elevated as a general within the defund Yulimo J. What we are doing, it is not AFL problem. You can't arrest me. The owner and me have our own blood deed from our rebel territory. And he run away kind of Morovia that no more that I can see. Same boy can show him to me today. He gave me my money. If so, I will carry him to Kakata. Come on, I said, Ramon, you can't do that. I said, but I need my money. They made their way under the pretense. They brought that money. 
I gave five thousand to come and then receive twenty thousand, and I left. I went to Kakata. When I went to Kakata, at the time, I come up on the you know the room high and see. They were selling each box of the ammunition to us for one thousand five units for each box in Kakata. So the twenty thousand could do better of more arms and ammunition. When we bought our ammunition, I carried it to bone mines and we kept it. So I decided that this ammunition was not enough because it's a real capture battle. So we got to do something more than this to get what we want. At that time, the Mandingo brothers were still with us, peace platoon. Then we have one of the zebra platoon, I mean battalion that were in or Camp because the Mandingos are good on money. So every rich area that we capture, they always take over that area. Because we were after fighting. They after every 20,000 that spent, they should get it done. So they were in Tony. When I left, I came to Monrovia. So I said, I like them. Roosevelt, he said, yeah. I said, the revolution is about to go. But you can't say that yet. Rebel leader can't be in Monrovia when we hit the bush and people are dying. So if you show that you are the rebel leader of this, the four new rebel fraction that are formed at the Limoje, you have to go to the bush. General T. Kala make a way with Prince Hill. General Duba, everybody is in bone mines. So you have to go. They send me to come for you. He said, but Rambo, the whole road, Ekomog, and the people taking south with it. So I said, no. I have steady the road. Colonel Peter said he want to see you. Colonel Onia, the regional commander in uh, uh, Kapata, want to see you. They are Christian. They say you should come. Because they know what is going on. They will help you. He said, really? I said, yeah. He said, okay, then we will go tomorrow. I said, every race that you delay here is a dangerous race. I'm not waiting for tomorrow. If you can't go now, we will form another person to become the rebel leader. He said, Ramon, you sure that we're going to what happened? I said, nothing. Let's go. But my car that I own my people, I will move with every majestic that anywhere that you attack, I will capture that area before I have the logistics to my team. I will wear a choir gun because I know that I will fight in the army of the law. Maroon choir gun at the time when anybody see General Rambo. So when I pick him up and get him to pop up him, was the Serenium condition for radio I've already called that they should have Roosevelt Johnson arrested. So we left Johnson one ball behind the R as the, the death squad commander move forward to make sure that the territory is left for him to move to come here. So as I bring my men at the board, I mean they deploy them to wherever Ecomon is. So when I got there, they said, no Ecomon started speaking at Creole, this and that. I said, what happened after the world? We the Ulimo J, our people that flee from the end of Ulimo K is that. Why are we take it from Monrovia because we don't want problem in Monrovia. So we are going to Kakata because we are still engaging Taylor for Banga. So they say, okay, okay, okay. You can go. We passed with Roosevelt. We got to Fenna. We were able to talk to Ekoma. We passed. Until to 15 gate. When we got to 15 gate, I moved, I went to Konopite. I said, the chief is here. He said, bring him in. I came and told Roosevelt to the car. They carried Roosevelt. They prayed and they had the inside door. So Roosevelt promised Because I know nothing for nothing. To my greatest surprise, when I looked, I saw bones, arms, and the nation start to come. Oh, we were so happy. 
Roosevelt came going in a car. We fired from 15 days until we were able to get to Kakata. What year was that? It was all 1993. You sure? Just a month. I can't give you. Are you sure? But I was slave in 93. In 93. The month I can't give you. Okay. When we got there, Roosevelt Johnson wanted to be the new guy. So they still not talking until I started getting afraid. I said, but something, you know, there's something going wrong. What one of the young said we should bring Roosevelt? And he had the man in there where we are, our mission was all to go to Burma tonight and tomorrow we launch the attack on Burma here and keeping the man. So gentlemen, if they are delaying here, that apprehend somebody, they air command there, on our command for them to release our leader quick. So they said, no, Rambo, calm down. So I said, but why they can't allow me to go there to be with him? But he ain't no in there. So one of the commander, I mean, MP commander, left him went into the play and told him, oh, it's not easy, the man boy out there is grumbling. So you have to do something, let the man get to a boy because they are trying to create a problem that bring him on charging outside. So immediately, Johnson came up, men, no men. So everyone will answer. He said, gentlemen, you all know I'm a young way. These people can't do nothing to me. We discussing that you will leave immediately to go and recapture your bomb me whole day. Everybody say. So we had a call for that. He was on a good shelter. When he went there, this call. When we looked, we saw truck low coming out. So he gave us more momentum that. Roma was nothing to us, that bombing here will be captured. We left, I think, by 9 o'clock that night, and we get ready. Roosevelt jumps into Boma. But when O'Neill said, Roosevelt was my strategy. You are going to Boma Hill. My men that I will send along the Boma Highway to deploy in Boma, you should arm them. You don't kill any of them because you need more arms and ammunition. And rebel is nothing that anybody to rely on. Just say, have done the same thing. Why you can't? You don't kill them. When they take the arms and ammunition and go ahead with your mission. Yes, sir. So we left when the next day, economic call for deployment because we're going to leave the ground vulnerable. He said the truth, but at the time we have our boys all along the road in the bushes, observing as they put the squad down, they move and they disarm them. So they left on and tell the group that was that landed in Burma. As Roosevelt Johnson were talking, oh, gentlemen, your staff, your staff was Lelu, what we call the 1005, Gia Mora, that you're doing more. You understand? So we grabbed half of these airmen with the moors and everything and carried them to Hindi. That it was now over BBC. That you live on jail is one on the rampage with this wrong of them. The army airmen and carry all the belonging. Yes, it's true. It was done. But it was done in collaboration with airmen, commanders that know the deeds that we were carrying on. So when we came back to Kamata, we got them satisfied with the Guinea condition. Because we know that they were the same Mandingos that lingered from our end. And when they were in our mess at Ekoma, they never had anything tied on the weapon as a red club. So we understood the red club was still, is still for the jihadists. So send the people going is that we will attack the skeleton team and overrun that will be on our control. So immediately we move on them. As the noise we're causing in Kapata, we have our boys that have gone to the ammo dome and bought it at the back, and we retreat all the ammunition to Kapata. Them to bomb mines. So we have more built. 
dormitory of ammunition. Any step to our great uncle Pratt, Chad, you or even Monrovia, <laughs> we want that he said you overthrow. Oh! The fighting is about freeing our people and let the Nigerian people have their own leader they want through election. I can't do it again, I can't turn it around. Then they say it to the mansion. But do you remember that? Then we have to put men together immediately to move to Morovia. Because there is no market world by who draw. You don't have to come down. Johnson said, my people, you all hold up. I got a radio message from, 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 from Banga. That Taylor is coming with unknown forces like attacking Charles Jew, but he want to take over with the thousand men. We say, really, Chief? He said, yeah. He said, they might be here tonight or tomorrow. They're bringing the manpower. But we will resist. Yes, sir. Truly speaking, that day up to 6 o'clock, they came and they met our checkpoint. And our checkpoint is beyond Ekomo. So Ekomo allowed them because they were formed part, the Tanzania were formed part of the Ekomo. But they were deployed in the control area of MPFL. So when they were coming, they pulled down gate. But when they got to us, so we asked them, say, but how you come? Because we see street faces in the cars where you are at MPFL. They know us, we know them. So if you are going to town, what are the people doing in the car? We can't allow them to go to town. Arguing from one to another, fire open. Two of my soldiers died as you lay on jail. We returned fire. We and them went into the battle where nine of the top and near vehicles were captured by we the Ulimo J. And over 25 of the top and near were killed on the bomb battle with some other MPFL fighters. We captured 11, but we said to our operational scroll was that before turning them over to our air boss, they shouldn't go back home with ears. So we took out the ears from over, over the head, those 11 men, and turned them over. And those honor that we killed, we put them in the very way in Kakata. It happened. And when we went through the process, I captured a big radio from the top of me that Taylor was continuing communicating what is the instruction, what's going on. So immediately I carried it to Roosevelt and said, but Taylor speaking. He said, give me the hand, I'll give it to him. He replied to Taylor. And he started passing one another mother. We all started laughing. The blackberry that were formed, 1991, that went to Kankan in Guinea and took training, were able to stand by Ekoma and bombard the mansion and get charged you out of the mansion. We all were happy. But one of the brutal part of them was the innocent children and women that were there who didn't know anything about charge you overthrowing brutal red started. Beating and killing innocent people at the executive mansion started. So when we got the information, some of us left Kakata and we came to Morovia. When we came, it's true, those bodies, they carried them, they go and bury those people that they killed. Which the late people who died today for Model as chief of staff, he was part of that group. The late Tika were part of that charge you group of that overthrow. We left, things were fun. We went back to our base. To my greatest surprise, I saw Tom Wonyu, Lada Subowu, Mazakwe. All these people came. They said, Johnson, we got to put things together because they tell all here, he built the heart. So we had to form a coalition. 
And that's what the issue is that we move together to get it all of our back. Let me take Manga from here. Say, but they are far out here. So Johnson called the brief us. So I said, well, they bring me again, we don't have no time as a good fighter. We're waiting to go. But why is the logistic? Because they have all the logistics of guys for people. So to steer air your operation, you should bring the logistics. They went to Kakata A or BWR and talk with Colonel O'Neill and who we should bring then I will be able to support the operation. The brother Logi Fine Logistics will spear air our operation from Kakata to Wiala. Where 225 of the MPFL that were flat footed were captured and were brought into Kakata and put them in the Kali church they had on the 14 row. At that time, I was lodging in the house on 14 row at the late Baku Taylor, which is Charles Taylor's brother, half at breakfast. When you went to breakfast, they were our lodge. But when we start, on the NDC, where they call themselves the politician, they are argument. Who they hear, who they who this, they were doing all those things. So when we look at it and they were lying to us that things were not going to stand, immediately I retreated with my boys and went to Oman. Our brothers that left there, they would go through the process. They didn't work up. Because there was no ammunition, much because of the power grid. So the coalition broke down. We led our troops to Bombay Hill, where we were able to free some of our crown brothers and old men, which is one like Nayu, where one of the, 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 the end brother, where he was an old man that were playing his own or card because he wanted to become a leader. So he was best friend with Alahaji Kuma. We keep bombing here. But when we go there, that four days, that money, when we know that operational group and they know our operational group. So we have to dress like the Muslim. Where we tie that arati on our head, you know, wear gown, we have our AKs and things in a gown. For every other chap, when we get to, they say, Salam Aleku. And we say Mariku Salah, that the password, then we penetrate. When we talk to him, Maka District, my very friend Alahaji Tebo, who said he was convincing me to not go to the front, he was a regiment commander in Swan Maka District. So my brother, when he had the table, he said, Yeah, boy, you told me you were not to be here. Then how come? Also, that the damn money business, you blacking here in the armor, but you went to tell God that we're coming behind you. We have no bike can here for you. You finish. And right there, in the FBU, little boy we had, he's a crap boy, they killed his mother in bombing here. So he was so evil that there's no chance that he see anybody, Lola Mandingo, he killed you. Right there, as we were talking, open fire on Alahaji table. The hot table that is so in Maka district. And we flee from the Maka until we were able to get to Bombay Hill. By 3.30 in the night, and we started going from house to house, talking to our people that we are around, that they try to leave because by 6 o'clock in the morning, going to be a heavy attack into Bombay Hill. We came to take over Bombay Hill. So one lady that they have, a vast lady say, oh, but many of your people are in and uh, do your things. Where they had a door, you know, basket, they, you know, where they, where they keep the door in the gates. They have many of your people in those gates as prisoners. And when you get to the MP corner, there are many there that every night they take you far from them to go and execute them. You have to make way so they will kill the people before they break because they know that you're already in the top. So we said, no problem. You leave and get into the jungle. We'll take care of the problem. 
So we will manage to do our Bible on the we go behind the moon. And he gave she immediately that he jumped in the boat. And we, when we broke the last to free our people from him, that cell that he had. When we move to the empty world, the empty at the death they, they provoke high head down sleeping. So we knock it. Salam Malibu. They say, ah, Malibu Salam. They don't know that, that people you come for again. Every night now you don't be carrying people, carrying people. You can't get it. People here now. They think people sleep there. They want bread. They get the key here. He never know how to know who we were. But if you only want your key for the, the jailhouse. As soon as he gave it to us, I had one of the boys that were with me, they called Yaya. He had died today on this loud war that we fought of blood in Tokolaku. Yaya Napi. He said, You know me? Then you look. He said, My man, why did I have a lot of So he said, No, I want your eyes to be open. To know that today you're going to go to tell him that we're coming. We are the narrow tarot, and when they say narrow tarot, then that means we are the crown people. Fear nothing but to do wrong when it causes to be done. So when he came to himself and what they say, and said, Jeremiah, I will hear say, Let Jeremiah, what is it? We cut out the hair and set it on the same table. We saw our brother there dressed in black. Gentlemen, you come. The other one said, No, you, uh, gentlemen, we beg you. Uh, 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 you don't carry on to them. We, we hold your foot. So we spoke wrong. Then they go back to the set. They said, Oh, you are our people. We said, Yeah, we can't release you. Yeah, they go. They said, But then we happy. We took them. Because they were already out of power. They were not too strong. They got no eating. It's not easy even to drink. We took them to the bush. Slept on a limo cake. Four days in the morning, we used the mic. And speak, because some of our grandbrothers can speak the mandingo. When we had General Charles then, coming in who General Lonti, Kukuru Boa, Went over the bomb, bombing hill there with a the mic and gave them good morning that we, the Ulimo J, is already in Tomerberg. That there will be no excuse, no escape route of Ulimo K. That we're going to take over bombing hill for it is Saturday. We fought that we found out our ammunition, the basic load that we brought because we walked for three days, three nights. No resting. Our ammunition was going low that we were not able to, you know, sit down. We left and went back with our people to bomb mines. Then we formed new strategy to come back for recapture of bombing hill. Then our time coming was that my Brother Apollo Jason said is that we should walk strictly into Bombay. We said no. The military strategy, you don't fight one place two times. So while the Ulimo K forces are now they are watching that when we come with that group, there will be many lives lost. So we have to get a surprise attack. Yeah, let's take this one map at this way and find our way to get to to clear. When we attack clear, the bombing head group will get confused. They will get lead our troops to come back here from come back here where we can be able to pass through the Godfrey plantation and enter into Tomabre. Then we will take over Tomabre. He said, I go out here, yeah, let's move. We move over our idea for two, we were successful. But my brother, when we got there was that. The raping that was going on with the Ulimo K forces, where they have this general, he died today, was one of the desperate generals they had at the time. It was clear. When they come to Michigan, I was taking his name. 
That 24 hours they were there raping the women and little girls of children. But we got the first bomb that we shared running away open. The women came running out to the bushes, nesting. What's going on? They say, we crown people that were arrested and they general here with people 24 hours. But the young kid won't have come up on the Palaba house. So young can go. So force them with rush. We double bomb and we're able to take over that Palaba house. We made a big ship back and sitting down. And we made the Ekoman Nigerian man on the yellow bar with his marks plenty on the job. His hair was on the table. A uniform pack on the side with a boot. But his body was bush up. That heavy pepper suit was on the fire. But we are war for three days, three nights. Without humble eating cassava from Bujay, they will be recognizing it, like monkey apple, the funny funny thing. It's why we were eating coming. But when we got to play, the rice were already done. The soup was still on the fire. But because there was no control of hunger, we dump the food in a big pan that we want to eat. The soup was the water, my brother, that we put into the food first. Put our hands, we started eating the rice. Ha! No washing hand, they say. Everybody said, you don't put your hand and eat. But coming to dump the meat, when we know we saw the pounds of human beings drop. Then we gave up. But we finished all the food, we drank the soup. We started putting finger in and water to vomit. He left. Then when we believe, we the Unimo J, it's true that Unimo K is general that yeah, they are eating human beings. So what all people have been telling us is true. So we got to move back because I know it's just the same in turn of birth. So we force them to use our force and overrun turn on them. I fought to love a bridge. Involvement of Akama. When they were in local bridge, and we had bombing hill as far, where to uh, this place we call, saw me was our gateway. Come on and all started with small, small talk. You're not powerful. If our commander get up any order, we can overrun you within 10 minutes. We said, hey, come on. We are small people, but we are powerful. We don't go against people. But if you try to go against us, when we come against you, you will regret it. We don't have dealing with you. So they are what you are using. They want you to be better. To turn you around again because you will feel away. They say, ah, you boy, you're shut up. So we and the Nigerians, they have no good rapport within that time of birth. When any of our little soldiers be any care where they are, maybe at the checkpoint, whatever, they will grab our soil and beat it. We say to our boys, say, hold on. You might do something wrong that they have to beat you. We always get the best. But to our greatest surprise, Ekoma told us that between Unimo K and J that they were going to deploy. Because they are already deployed with Thomas when we were at the barrier of Bombing Hill. We said that's fine. But the deployment is that they were going with three club filled with ammunition. With three more a main power that they are going to deploy in the control area of Ulemo King. We said that's fine because we want the warrior to finish. So since you are going, we are happy. They said, no problem. We open the gate, and come and let the wine. They went in the morning hour. By 5 30 to 6 o'clock in the evening, when we look, we saw Ekoma coming back. With the same city truck, city moa, the same manpower. Ah! Our gate was still there, so when they reached the stop, 
So the, the man that was sitting on the wood of the clock, he said, hey, hey, make it open. Useless boy. So the boy that was on the gate said, look, hey, come on. You can't cross us. This is our control area. You went to deploy before anything is done. Let our commander know, but we can't open the gate. So immediately call. We left and went. When we got there, it was an accident. But one of our boys have already planned to check in the truck. Why? What was going on? Two trucks were empty. One truck was saying, no, that we have a nation. The exact men that went, they all retreated and they're coming back. So they are working in here, so they cheat two and they drop them too. But one day is there with this basic load. So we say, but hey, come on. You as the commander here, something going wrong. If you don't deploy, what are the ammunition that you're carrying? So we know that you are born and doing something wrong. They said nothing. Those boys, they fought us and took those ammunition. So we are getting to headquarters to be able to launch the complaint. We said, no, 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 no. It's impossible that tonight they can attack us. So since you carry the complaint, and we are putting your defense because for saw me, we be bombing you. So since you are in bombing here, and you are not to saw me, give us the ammunition to defend ourselves. But we can't lie to go with the one drop. No way. They said, ah, ah. So immediately the commander, a free for who was the air commander for them, knew the black beans between them, they were in their own thing. So after he called, they spoke the Nigerian that we couldn't want to stay. So immediately he left order to him to a man. But as smart we were, we saw them winding down the barrel of the Moa. So right there we say, gentlemen. Everybody, nobody points you. Let's get in a mix that if it is anything, we will engage in one to one to get arms from them. So while talking, I was three boys that were standing in front of the truck at the checkpoint. No. The system may open fire. Those three boys drive. We jump in the bushes. After I took over Bomi A town, my people, they was a certain fraction to the Yulemo K that we saw. Ekoma started raping, killing. You are General Ramon woman? Yeah, we are. They carry you, they rape you. Ekoma started. We left in the bush for one and a half week, thinking what to do. Because we have already lost many of our instruments into Bobby Hill. But while we were there, we saw surveillance of the VAR, Mende, Buse people all running from here. We went from here on the day, the Ekoma now they play the, the Rishi. They involved the Unimo K business now. They just breaking, looting, do all the things in down there, now he said. So we said, well, but then gentlemen, we got to stay. It's a brand new war. That come on our country. Poor I just want to see you have 10 minutes. I want you to wrap up to wrap. in the next 30 or so minutes so that we can ask you questions. Okay. So we consolidated and we went against Ekoma. Through the battle between we and Ekoma within the three months, we were able to overrun them. We killed 600 of Ekoma into Tonnenberg at Fato Pope River. You say it lasted for three months? Yeah, three months. What year was that? was 1994 to my remember. You can remember the month? No, sir, but 94. Okay, go ahead. We battle out, they call for ceasefire, people intervene, we accepted, they came in, only one of the soldiers that we turned over was the commander. We bring in his feet 
and a mouth. And we turn him over. He was the only commander that was killed over. But 600 were killed from them. And we, the Ulema Jay, when we went through the process of those who died from our fight, up, we lost 13 men. We caught the one Fafa, 106, Etogram, Misa, and all the Moas and things that they carried to Tomerberg. And all the uniform that they were having on them with these guys, they from on them. And we were wearing the ass echo up into Tomerberg. The people talked to us, we accepted. We gave them back the Moas. Taylor called D. Roosevelt Jones and said, Look, my man, I congratulate you for the hard work. But me and you can operate. Jones said, Huh? Ah. He said, Yeah. I sent him my men in there, they will come and see you. But those things that you get, don't accept to give it out to those people. We can keep it. That tomorrow to our country can use it. Let it be for us. So my men will be there with you soon. He sent a great with US. When D Rob received that grape of US, we at the time they had a seven bank council, he called. The one squad Jai Kuya was one of the council men at the time. George Sebe Bole, who has LPC at the time. He called the man and said, Well, they don't call me. And what I know is that for the weapon business, but he sent me greater than US. So what do we do? Bole then said, Take the weapon over to help him up. And lie the money. They didn't have blood money when you come to West Ham. Eat the money. Nothing can happen. So Johnson listened to the air bar. He collected the money. Immediately, we turned the weapons over. Tell the boy, no. He can't get the money. <laughs> and the weapon can't be given to him. He won't buy the weapon. And at the end, until Ama Yulu, at the time, he rose up at Johnson were on 19th Street. Small, small North started in the town, bro. It presses. Ama Yulu had by the idea of Taylor that within the deformed forces, the deformed full force that were called Conquer Defense Force, that he was sent 25 men, sometimes with two arms. When they fall in our hand, we say, too pitiful that people children die for nothing from a so-called power he wanted. Ama Yulu began to hit Roosevelt Johnson, ground to ground battle down with his side. He was living on the 9th Street near the beach. Roosevelt Johnson lived on the 19th Street near the beach. Well, the interim president, the Obama boy, we're living on 19th Street too. But you were living in front of the Roosevelt Jones. We have come up. So you always intervene. But next time, Mama, you look in to 19th Street. I was sitting down and looking. The key where our brothers, even T. Kala and all who are our commanding general, because of the village, we know we had dead streets. But in a county, so because of the death street, our commanding general Tikana were looking at Siki Solomon. He was D. Roosevelt and he was Amanu. So the how we, the first of them were looking out, we go to Amanu here, yeah. they will go to Roosevelt Johnson here. Yeah. We are not laughing, they talk. Which one will be convenient for us to take side? But to our greatest surprise, when Amman Yulu came that evening to Roosevelt Johnson area for a talk, where there was no understanding because of Herod Duba, General Fokia, who was the Benjamin Yeten at the time for the Roosevelt Johnson forces, you label jail. He killed anybody that was. He said that Amman Yulu should enter. I'm 
Mama is doing also Rosa Bell Johnson. But in discussing with the argument where Ephraim was standing, I mean, you need to buy a full fan. With the same children that were walking away, he bulleted one of the ball and dropped. They flee the way. Ephraim saw it. They want, they want to be able to come on media to let Abraham people know what really happened. But they saw it in the middle of it. Every day, Johnson should come to justice. Johnson can't come to justice. You got to go to justice. We can't come to justice. On that, did uh, Charles Taylor convince a la GB command that that operation that will be launched will make a la HG command to be vice president to him? So it meant, and command meant to emerge to fight with the Ulemo G. To our surprise, the attack was three. 45 that morning of the April 6th. When we went into it, go to Harry, we were able to take Roosevelt Johnson from 19th Street to the BTC bar. When I called on the bar pass, I saw T Kana City by the help of Material Center. So I said, T, what's going on? He said, Ramu, I'm confused. To so see, we that came yesterday that will continue doing walling and polling. So I'm confused. But generally, they're not going to the barrier. So we can consult them to know what to do. But he can sit down here because the NBM forces is coming with the Moke. He said it's true. But I don't want to enter in that barrier. So I said, then, what happened? But then, not knowing his mind was not clear. He cannot sell that, but that material center as I was continuing talking to him, MPF was there, Jane Hoff from Jonathan. As we were there exchanging fire, the bomb that they launched hit the baby, the particle hit him. T cannot drop the heat down. I dragged him into the old house of G. Baba Matthew, politician gen general of 1999. No, 89 or 79, right? The red, the red, right? 79. I dragged him to the back of my view, old house and lay him down and put OOZ over him. I left the body there, ran with my boys to the body to Brunanda, Commanding General Abdal. Man, who the Lord bought and can bark on him. Man, that can talk to bullet and the bullet take his full control. He died that moment. To come on the offensive, we took three days and three nights to get back to Matthias and Center there to be able to recover to get Tikala body to get to the BDC battle. What to have it with it? But the April said, my people, it was too fast. And people die. Human beings die. That even my own late brother on the capital of Baba, as he was in the house, when they reached there because they know General Rambo, when they asked, my late brother said no. Their forces go to the barrier. I only hear I'm a civilian, I know nothing about your war for you. They say, come here. When you walk to them, they open up a mile on your chest and kill you. So I saw people from the Baba running from the wild and say, Rambo, the job kill your brother. We are afraid. But besides him, they kill all the four poison. The body is laying there. So I said, well, it's the will of the, the war that we fight. No problem from that. We will deploy us. So you all hold on, nobody go there yet until our force get it. They say, okay. So the few people from the back are waiting. But we have our disposal and have our assignment. We all spray where LPC controlling uh, the American embassy and Chris Farley and General Tell we about they are the late, they are late people today. So I ramble on the back path, but they were on it. 
the new and the old bridge in. Then we have, I will call my brother, who died today. War boss went to Jalata. In Montreal, we're taking care of Matane Center here. The how we deploy around our BTC bar. With tons of thousands where the old man is streaming on the board. He knows. We went through the process of three months on day. But they love the time that they brought that today Dumuya left in. I slept and I saw it and told my people that today is the day that one of the big warriors of these people will die. But is that we have to go with that engagement. But he will bring himself close. And truly speaking, the high came to the Maria Bakery with Guinean conditions, with the Moa launching into the battle. Do we have a question again or as the deputy chief of staff? I mean, as the chief of staff of AFL from the Warren fraction, because it was Warren, government was sitting at the time. His sister was in the barrel with us. There were many Mandingos who were in the barrel with us that we not even came. But you crying out there, they came. Then they have one general power. For the NPF at the time that we had saw a great school in, that were entering the great school and taking innocent civilians from there and carrying them on the B side, killing them. They call him General Power. I learned today he's an intelligent officer of the AFL, of the new AFL at defense. My brother, the war is deep. But all of this time that we were fighting, many of us as a general or fighters never knew the other contact. We would not see ourselves with arms and ammunition or something carrying our own land, then send by air command and get it. But last night today, April 6th, Alahadi Jimmy Koma had connection with the Chinese government. That he was able to buy arms and ammunition that fought the Abrasis against we the Yulimo J. But because he was convinced by Charles Taylor to become the vice president, he gave Taylor his entire Ali Bush. The Ali Bush is compound, he had more logistics. With more sophisticated weapons. In Guinea, Mansonza, the remaining arms and ammunition that came to cross the border and allow them to go for ceasefire, they stopped in the Mansonza barrel that brought it 1999 war that ended on the 2003. GP Promar hoped that he gave to Taylor. <laughs> They didn't buy it because he know it was all more than leopard and lion sitting in the sea then. One minute you close your eyes, somebody will hear it from <laughs> So he did. After the call for the ceasefire, immediately Taylor went and told Ephemer that Alahaji from Mahar and the Haley General with arms and ammunition as his resident. They should go for checkup. Quick. When Ephemer went, that going. For two women were arrested with arms and ammunition and carried into Ekoma Bay for three days. From there, they talked, talked, talk, they left him. Then we came to the election. My people, General Rambo, he said, I said, down here that talk. Taylor was so dangerous, but at the end, we were tired. Be you crown, you madingo, you better, you want to know everybody was tired. The arm and self voted for Taylor at the BDC barrel as MPF had become. If Taylor don't carry it, he was still struggling to fight another war. So say he was the man that went through the struggle 
that make all of revolutions to be formed. Yet again, they will not forget that he told him. That how we went through the 1997 election and Taylor won this election. But Taylor and Roosevelt Johnson for the AI and Army Nation that were turned over to Evermore, he did satisfy. So Taylor continued as president of the country. So do you remember Johnson said about that man, they were seeing him if we gave him chance. And his security again among us. They will kill us one by one, so we have to be careful. At that time, many of the Unibo case fighters were with the MPFL, with Taylor. That one general Langaza was one of the liaise, I mean, mail that lead, I mean liaise information. For every discussion at the executive margin, Langaza will call immediately for D. Roosevelt Johnson to know because at that time he was to transfer. That chief, you get my thing now, but I get it now, now, now today. They made us in the death squad, they will come and do. Some secret killing. Then we get on our guard. Oh, no, no, don't try it. Hey, don't go oh, over. Oh, oh. The BBC Barry, Cam Johnson, Road Capital Bank Pass Up. We were in that until Taylor changed into the system of 18. But before then, Taylor called me at the mansion. They want to put General Rapper, I want to see him. Who every time when you hear my serene, then he say, Taylor can pass on the bad path. He will launch me. He will kill me. I want to see the Rambo here. He know that I'm the revolution father. So yet then, you go and tell Rambo to come. Then you want yet then, who draw the king to me? The papa want to see you. Who your papa? He said the president. Okay. Nothing wrong. They don't the paper here your name and then look. That elephant meet now. The war feeling rambo. We all had to be part of the battle of years so we can enjoy. The paper was still to replay on the war point. And when even war point in ourselves, we can make it. What the hell? You see it. I said, but no problem, I will let go see the papa. The next morning they came for me. We left when we were on Sunday. I sat down to that mountain the whole day. Until I brought all the appointment on the Cap Johnson Road that General Ramo is at the mansion. The land that they are carrying for water. In fact, they came to Watanga, they didn't kill me. So my people full of resistance and they want to attack. But I continue the same message to say no. I read at the manual and looking over the same BDC. Nobody killing me, nobody beat me, not me at the time. But to my greatest surprise, one of my best friends that they call war boss as a general too. He came with somebody, but they got straight there at the mansion and said, You're giving me your ramble here, so what will happen will happen. So look at that here, what what's happening? Right away. He engaged the security that were the triple S that were at the gate for the broker until they hit him with a gun but and he got cracked on his score here and brought him inside there he with the other body guard. So uh, this boy that died today, one of Taylor's best general he had to now he did they call him. Oh, he died in Kaka. They were a Kaka. Jack the rebel. Rambo, you will not escape. Who would have used the one that they found to bring you about carrying you straight in front of the mansion on the beach now to kill you? So I said, Jack. He said, yeah. I said, you smoke up. You have to go on the water. Think that I believe in that you can see. You just talking because you want to talk. By this higher level, if you make mistake, the man will be captured. Because I will attack. 
The army are here for you and me. He said, I can carry you. I said, I can walk in front of you now, go on the beach. You can. You are here when you fire. And the bullet didn't do anything to me. Then let me fire you too. Then you then say that you are here. Come to yourself, Jack. That the Bible said for the men, not you. If you are me outside of men, that the time Ramah was there with the men behind you. You could go there. Or oh, before he hear now, so you want to boot all that year, you man, you went for him. So I don't want you to talk here again. I get on let's go. So he won. We sat on them one day money till I came to job. They carry me. And many. He said, You don't want to say what well, I'm Baba, you are not with me, you okay me? I said, yes, sir. Because you are a revolution father that has come to become president. What other day we hear about Watana? What every day your boys are going around creating problems? So for that reason, that means they will not feel it. They were they doing it. He said, no. And that morning, you're to kill you. I got all the money to I got one more war. All I did, your boys there with me. And they were general on that side. I said, yeah. He said, they were me. I said, now on a mission. He, I think, got me out of You have the reality? He said, he died with death. They were feeling that I had a president. So, Ramo, you have to understand. Why are you working? So, I said, Chief, I'm not working I'm with the AFL. I'm Debbie one warrant officer. Then, in a revolution, you who are there, I'm a brigadier general. One of the special aid of D. Roosevelt Johnson for now. He said, You have to leave John C. and look. Come and sign with me. I'm the president. I gave you all the time. Leave that papa because they always come and laugh at me. Anybody doing bad things, they say, Rambo. So come and be with me. I said, Yes, sir. But, Chief, before you do this, then that means the permission should be granted by my commander, who is serving your body. As the director of staff of defense, they were assigned with defense headquarters, headquarters. And he said, Come on now. He said, Ramo, but you know the manager? I said, Yes, sir, because I'm going to go to the training center. So taking me from a assignment to another one, that means you should be able to say in my city what? He said, No problem, I will write. And finally, we'll receive it and you'll be assigned at the marshal. But your position at the mansion, you are going as deputy as a director. I got to get in the court You think that I'll embrace you. I get big job. He gave me one thousand five hundred dollars US. I left from there and got on the back. Right away when John the Hall come, he said you have sent for Rumble Lane right now. So when I look, I saw the truth coming. I knew straight it was that when he said no, then he would take the other way to our revolution. So I said, okay, no problem, gentlemen, let us come in. I got it. I left my wife come Joseph Road. Claim the step. Yes, sir. You from the manjo? I said, yes, sir, Chief. He said, but what that we didn't sleep is that we wanted to get the overrun the manjo. So I said, Chief, they never call me, they never arrest me. And there was no dream of killing. Is that if anything be now, everybody trying to, you know, get the part to play before the man, he the president. So tell us please again to get all for us to be by then and all the money for that you requesting for. They are in Gambia. Carrying an operational club to overthrow the president in Gambia. Joseph go on the media to inform that he want these people to us stand between here and there again. He said, but Ramo, so you change, you want to tell her? So I said, the man that the president, and he called me to say that you become the deputy as a director. So as you start immediately my assignment, so it's a whole of 
Yeah, yeah, you go, you will transfer. You say, what did you say, woman? Then why would you wait? So I was going to go wait. He said, Mambo, don't go there. Taylor explained again to this boy just went around me. Then you can hide that and kill you one by one. So I got scared to go out there. He said, believe what I say. When you see a lie, go and try and die like man and say so right there, I told my mention the God, I was here. So I sat down. I couldn't go to, to work again. I couldn't go into the country. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So my brother was proud walking with a brother. I did not get the fence. One people. By 5 to 5.30. Five, Fire open. So stand on 8. But what is going on? At that. But when I walk in the room, I saw my own brother, I called a Jesu. One Marquis Carlo is today in the new AFL. They are something and coming to my house, talking about when a gentleman, you can see what's going on. They insulted me. And said that they will kill you. So I said, oh, but then it didn't change. So what Johnson was saying for me is I want to come down to say I realized the man, they are gay. So let me take my essay to come Johnson room. I left in that shopping with slipper and t-shirt. When I go to come Johnson room, the whole place upside down. So village, mommy, where fire will go over. But Johnson was like that, what you have to defend? You and they do what is here. Now come again. And create a problem. The problem now, people die. What you got for us to fight? He said, You're relaxed. Everyone told me that. So now they are telling before the night can go, the issue will come. So you're just going to put on your word that day. Before daybreak, the issue will be here. We believe it. We stay there until in the morning. Nothing. The villains that were on the business and the firing started and they ran into the Tomo church. The church was back. But that morning to 12, we have over 25 wounded soldiers, seriously wounded. No doubt. No way. We can't throw them. Because we are sending to our position. So immediately, I ran to the church and said, my people are there. I said, you have to leave the church. Let's go. Because the Tomo church is right on up. The Roosevelt that Johnson have. These people are coming with that understanding. Then you are going to die in the process. Yeah, let's go. Few of the civilians that understood what I said, they crossed the road. When they crossed the left, they went. I was looking at the photos for seeing the road. When at the time, Charles Taylor had a son that has the demon force that they don't talk. Yes. Oh, okay. That couldn't talk. They just implement the order. They advance until they walk over their church. When they walk over their church, they enter my brother, they kill. Open fire in the church. I went between the store, stay looking. Why my people were going? The blood dream for him that just answer. Who was the one that left him poison the tone for that church that they brought us that was Bamba Boto? Former Nabiro and Home Stand number five. But one paper elders, security that went with the whole group that rescued Baba and brought him outside. Before I leave, in passing between the houses, there's a woman that died. But the baby was still on her chest, still living, sucking dead breast. I took this shot. Madam, when I threw the sword in one, 
If I born here, I go here, so I know they will be tired of letting the bread of the whole city. I make it to retail of God with public works. When God of public works, they were so so of my tribe were living there. So I spoke the dialect of my people. The people that come here have no understanding. So long you have my asset, they will kill you. You're not born. You don't stay. But the people who understand was that who let can just in road trouble cause of was the one that Taylor were looking for. So they didn't open the door to come out. We pass through and get to Center Street. So the tension was so hot that we broke so big and free the notorious men that were there with some deformed fighters that joined us. We make it by KKR. Yeah. By 12 o'clock sharp, we attack the BDC barrier. The muscle that has the bomb that were in it, there were no few. But because of the 1004, and I knew that my enemy bullet couldn't do anything to me, I was jumping on the road and challenging. But there was no way to launch because no fuel. So we managed and passed by the beachway of Kekeya and we got into the barrel. That had the barrel work out to 12 o'clock. That sustained on 18. We roamed around in that barrel. Thinking that we will find arms and ammunition, no way. We were wounded in luggage that we engaged the MP quarter. Where two of the MP had arms that we engaged in, we executed and took the two arms. That one of our brothers, as one of the generals, the called war boss, were in jail. We released him. They were wounded at two arms that we got there. We went to the funeral home where some people told us, oh, last man, the people, all the things they carry to the Moloku from Moloku to the funeral home. We went there, there was a body that we met there, we started holding the two for a start in them because we were looking for ammunition. Nothing. We went at the Moloku, busting doors and things. Nothing. We stayed two hours in the BBC bar. There we met General Jali, uh, Saka City, yeah, Sabo City. We are uh, Colonel Doorway and others. The general special star of AFL. We said, my people, we all are the same trap. If you are still here, General Forces will kill you. Yeah, let's go. He said, but why are we going? We said, we are the embassy. We're using the beach to go and after the baby that I took from Camp Johnson Road and collected a cloth. That that the jump on my back. I said for him the jump on my back. From the BBC to pass through Kekeya, I met all of two walking chap. Where the mother father when I ran. I had him with me at the motor head. We all walk on the beach to go. Until we get by the sound of the embassy. So our arms that we have go run. We end up talking in the water. Because we are getting to safety zone. When we go to the end, that's it. John Dwell. D. Roosevelt Johnson. General. Oh, he ain't right here today. General Jani. They're always sitting and discussing. With Madison Will, as I was put there at the time. Talking to one thing and I told them about my bed. You're too hard to come to the embassy immediately when we get here. That you're in contact with America, so they will give all the ammunition. These people don't have us. You're going there immediately here, letting them know so they move. Because and many innocent people are down there that when they meet, they will stay killed. Them. So we got to go back. You only said that too. You're ready to. And that time, Joe Wale had left. He met the action in that one after Joe Wale wrote, but he is a commando. Three is not. Because the 1985 coup, 
that were led by the late Kwamba. When Joe Biden then came, he never came to the TRC to even call the person that hated him to make him to see to this day to come on TRC the top. Was this in general round? I came in when Joe was requesting at the time that anybody to see Joe Biden's attain over he will give you 10,000 United States dollars. That's how I have ever been up here. But I believe my life is not to sell human beings. And I believe that the what Joe Biden came for was right at the time because of the 1981 four judges that were there again, the late common was saying that he was apprehended and killed with all the body. And we are a spark, a parcel, a bar. Because I'm sapo crown. So the breath of my mother was talking was saying, Joe Biden is my uncle. So seeing that we sent the uncle back in and fell and he died for a cause of Wesson, Joe Biden he will go and come another day. I kept it down the hall when I had television covering was all over. Go on by a capture from the Ominga. They brought a body at the back of the mansion where they lying down with looking at TV and the bush on him. Go on by body was not body that they wrap and carry and bury. There were not self saw that brown people, we ourselves are here in school that we get in human beings. They were not in the fire. He was eating. The Red Riot of 1979. I was a boy, but a big sad boy. I was not part of Moja or this and that, all the boys. We were Christmas like people, people who were here. You all decided to run there to go see. But that day to come and see between the Ferris Street and the Capital Baba in the session to where they have the Donka gas station. That I can stay with call that money. When the demonstration was going on, more Japanese people were there coming. We were sitting by the Rosa Loki. But to my surprise, they were walking from Radical Market. He had the plastic bag with a coal and the other one with food. All the way down the road, Vanny then struck him from the central area police station. When he stopped the car, we all were looking at them. When he died, so he called the neighbor car. When you coming from the border, from the market, but it was the people coming, so everybody running. But going down the road, they were there. My mother sent me to buy food. You want to say it? Say it. Vani then got to my wife and take the egg. And shut that boy two times. On the capital, Baba was the first dead body. 1979 that I saw. There were more better all that we joined the revolution of 1979. 79. The Red Riot. And when we started stoning the police, there were no person that they retaliate. But forgetting the sea way, there was a good security man when you are battering. And you are using some sophisticated uh, chemical. You have to accept the way. If you don't accept the way, you will be spraying yourself. And that you have born on it that day. When they send the tear here, we smart them and take it and send it to them. We have a little grave rubbing all our faces for the point because we have to continue with it. We start the rock and roll, but now doing the, the set of the tear here, flew until it entered the maternity center. Where every woman that was having the pain of breath that day died. With every child that were born laying in our hospital, they died. Because the night and the dark of rain, because the sun of the tear gear entered the day. So when we came there and got to the inner 
section where money then go have left. I went on that side when it was badly slain. I'm surprised that some people come here and they don't record that you people that. Because the other day, the police were using the technique against the civilian we. So all the store boss thing, whatsoever, everything happened. Everybody was saluting. But by 6 to 6 30, the airman decided. I have cut you off now. Yes, sir. You've been testified for two hours. So that we have not come to the desert and the lawyer puts it. But you went back now to not this. No, I went back before I slipped out from there. So I thought, well, you give you the whip right there and get to a Okay, we'll give you 10 minutes to summarize on the lawyer theory. 10 minutes. Okay, we'll ask you questions during that period. You can come up with some of that. I'm sure. Okay, sir. Yeah? Okay, sir. So you said everything decided. They took that nationally night, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, during the question and answer, if there's relevant information I can draw in, then you can. No problem. But, uh, if we have to call you for specifically for that another time, I'll be capable of doing so. If there is a need to call you specifically for that period, then we'll call you back. Okay, sir. No problem. So let's commence the question and answer period now. Yeah. I'm waiting. Okay. Thank you very much for taking up your time and in an orderly chronological manner sharing your experience with us, yeah. which came from 1979 all the way to 1998. Yeah. September 18 was 1998, right? Yeah, to 90. Okay. So thank you very much. Mr. So Witness, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I have a few questions for you for the sake of clarification. When you spoke about the uh, problem between ECOMOC and the remote jail forces at the time, yes, sir. is this the same incident that people refer to as the Bombing County 90 Day War? Yeah, that's it. That's a 90 day war yeah, incident? Yeah, yeah, Okay. And this happened in 1994? Yes, sir. Okay. I didn't get it quite clearly what really started that 90 day war. Was it because um, ECOMOG sees something for you remote? What really started the 90 day war? I'm sorry. The 90 day war was started by ECOMOG. Okay, how? Because of the arms and ammunition that it took. They carried to the fabric and sold to Allah Haji Kumar And they took the arms and ammunition from Yulimuji? They took it from Ekomok Barry in Bomeo. That we, the Yulimuji, saw what the strategy they used was that they were going to deploy, not to sell. They were going to deploy to base there for everybody to have that free flow. You know that Ecobus hold the ground, your they were holding the ground in Bombing Hill as far to Oak River. And before that incident, there was a cordial relationship between Yulimoji and Ecomo? Your yes, we have, we have relationship because we were living together. In the same Bombing County? The same Bombing County, Cape Man, all over. Okay. And other accounts of the 90 day war said that uh, a lot of people died, there was starvation because of the, the problem. Ecomog blocked the roads, no roads are open, so humanitarian aid couldn't get aid. No. Is, is that the same? Incident? Is that the same 90 day war? Okay. How many civilians do you think died during that time? I'm the problem, I never checked the civilian because the damn papa that Ecomog were using on to Tomoboy. 
It's something that brings the belly down in less than a second. And we said, were lady all over. Okay, so, that, man, man. so Ecomark was shelling because they were trying to shell your target yeah. areas? Yeah, we did even okay. And civilians were caught in between? All between, because people did that. Same thing. How long did this 90 day war, oh, it lasted 90 days? 90 days. Okay. Do you know, during that same time of the 90 day war, do you know of, of any of Mr. Conley who was killed or beheaded by, by one, one Mr. Conley who was killed, either he was, he was killed by, I think he was beheaded, allegedly beheaded, by one of the Limo J soldiers for being part of eating a cow or somebody's cow. What do you know about the incident with the cow that was stolen? No, 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 no. Mm. Not to my knowledge because I don't have a way in Kataka. Mm -hmm. Because I left Boma, I mean, Bomi Hill, long time as we were together mm -hmm. and I were heading because Taylor was my obstacle, so I was really on the back. I was already in Kataka. So what month did this 90 day war start? Now I'm saying that the month is my problem that I don't recall but I know the years. Everything I'm saying is that the years I really know. So you were sure this was in 1994? Yes. And who were the commanders in the area, the commanders for your group and also the commanders for ECOMOR? Besides you, who were some of the other commanders of the Ulimo J faction? Ulimo J? Yeah. We had General Smith today that was captured lastly because of that war. Clandestine war in Kakata with the Ekobo took a game or a game. Where General Smith was beating with the eyesight problem that he was sent to America with some other generals who were many. General oh. Duba. Well, you know, many of them died now. Many of those generals did die now. So, but who was the overall general who would have been responsible for your men in the Bombay County area? Who was responsible for us? Yeah, who was the overall? The overall was D. Roosevelt Johnson, the late D. Roosevelt Johnson. For was he, J. Was he in Bombay County at that time? At that time, he was in Canada. He was stationed in Canada? Yes. What about the Echo Mark? Can you remember the names of some of the generals who were in the area? There were the names that I know if only one of the the echo bomb. One, Colonel Peter from 7 Airborne Commander, 7 Airborne uh, Battalion from Nigeria, were one that assisted us with arms and ammunition. Colonel Odea, the regiment commander that was in Kagata at the time, assisted us with arms and ammunition. I was asking for the names of those who were stationed in the Bomi County area. Mm -hmm. You said Colonel Peter was in the Bombay County area? No, 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 you were not there. They're all from the Kakata area? Yeah. The problem was that in Bombay Hill, as local Hill, we never bothered one of to be too close to Ecobo and have that close relationship with one of you know. But in Kakata, they were our bases, so the commanders then they knew me and I knew them. Okay. Yeah. During the 90 day war, um, do you know anything about uh, hundreds of displaced people being at the Catholic school compound in Bombay County in Tottenham the Dominic school compound, and several of them died from starvation. Why are you talking about it was the time you were okay with controlling that Tottenham Burke? That's the time. They were not you were okay. That's the time you had the situation of starvation? And mm -hmm. Yeah. With the refugees on St. Dominican. Area surveillance, especially as the Mandingos that will capture a Thomas Bird clay, will burn in the whole real world. And they said, the give us the blessing that we will overrun the children before they had no woman. You mentioned at one point when you were explaining that at one point you were fighting in a maroon choir gown. You used to wear maroon choir gown. I used to wear a choir gown. Yeah, it was your own address. Yeah. Um, and then, the fighting, fighting uniform at the time. And you mentioned something about being the head of a death squad. I didn't quite understand what you were trying to say. Okay. What I was trying to say is that every rebel leader 
has the old squad, the old force that anywhere he's moving, he move along with him. Mm -hmm. in, in. So our part of the forces of D. Roosevelt Joseph for everywhere he goes, the way we go. In so any area, we are the people to be able to dismantle it. Okay, in your forces name or death squad, how did the name death squad come in your explanation? Well, the death squad that I was talking about, I think you talk, you're going back to the AFL perhaps. You know the AFL has a death squad? The AFL have a death, I think I called it, I called it death squad for you, maybe that's why you report it. That was it. How we many, have told you about Tele. How many death squads the AFL had, do you know? Can you remember? One was Tele that had 30 men behind him. The second, Saike, were dealing with social women at the mansion, executive mansion that used to call the Holy Ground. Harris Penal, he had his own group that he was dealing with and do anything he wanted to and there were no comments. Mm -hmm. So, so the person we were talking about three different death squads that they had, mm -hmm. AFA had the time. Mm -hmm. And this death squad you said, one of the death squad had social women as part of it? That was saying that which is Saike. At the mansion, at the people that used to sing for him. Get it, I get it, get it when you come. When you never use the color one time to take your head. Do you know his real name besides the Saji Kiri? That's the name that I know Saji Kiri. Our now station already. Moreover, our at 77. But when we come down with Colonel Jali, the one I used to see, but now we know his original name because often they will remember talents. I just want to get a name right. When he says I should kill it, do you mean kill it or to kill it? Yeah, to kill, kill the person. Why is that? Why is that? Why you do? So what? Somebody facing you, asking you question, you will just come with a call from the end. That's why you want that. Or then when you get one other police commander, they call him uh, one queer. I think he was the police either director at the time. He was in that a white shirt, you know, and they were arrested him and brought him to the mansion and said, he killed the boy, he had up. And this was during 1990? 1990. Does Sergeant Kelly, what was his position? Was he in the army? Was he in the He was a sergeant, sergeant in the army. In the army. Yeah. yeah. Sergeant Kelly. Hello. Sergeant Kelly. You also mentioned that um, there was, when you were in Kapata there, you, I think it was either in 1993 or something like that. Yeah. And um, I think you arrested some Ekomok, some Guinean Ekomok, from yeah. the Guinean contingent uh -huh. in Kapata, and there were some people who got killed in the process, some of your enemies, people who were fighting you. I wasn't too clear whether it was the Echo Mob men or it was men or the NPFL. It was, what you're talking about is not Guinea, it's the Tanzania. The Guineans were only harassed and bought their ammo to carry all the ammunition, but nobody was killed. But the Tanzania took side with Taylor that they were coming from Rufio, which was the time when Charles Jew overthrew. So when they were coming, they were instructed by Yulemoji, and they were waiting to the clash. Where well, so many of them that in Levy life was saved, but the years were caught up. Mm -hmm. That's what you're talking about. The 11 people were not NPFL fighters, they were Tanzanians. They were Tanzanians. We saw NPFL fighters, but the NPFL fighters who killed them. Okay. We didn't allow them to go. And the Tanzanian soldiers, you turned them over to Ekomok? Yeah, we turned them over. But the years were caught All of the years, the two years? You caught up all the two years? Yeah, we caught up the two years. And the others who you say you killed and put in the well, were they NPFL fighters? No, they were Tanzania. We said those that we killed mm -hmm. on the exchange of fire, mm -hmm. they were the people that were going to war in Kapata. Okay. Can you remember the location in Kapata? Would you know if we wanted you to show us the place, the well that you In Kapata? Yes. The wells are there. I'm going to see it. No, I mean, can you remember that particular? I recall, I'm speaking, I'm a man who don't take any drugs. I don't do alcoholic, but war fighting is that my sisters are correct, I know I do it. You spoke briefly about the 1985 uh, abortive uh, coup. 
Okay, um, when Mr. Wallen met you on the bypass yes, sir. and told you that the journalist Charles Bayon had died or had been killed, yeah. did he say he was killed or he died at the radio station or somewhere else? At the radio station? Because you were there with him. For the radio station, he attacked Bayon, he went in all of them. After he found out that the forces that came to them were heavy, all of them gave the SDE. But Charles Boyan there were people that were in the radio station that didn't get a chance to come out. So the firing outside that entered is why you're not there. You also explain uh, what happened between Roosevelt Johnson and the, the problems that they had, that he had with Ekomok mm -hmm. when he sees some heavy uh, weapons and uh, ammunition from Ekomok. Mm. That uh, Mr. Charles Taylor yeah. gave Roosevelt Johnson some money yeah. so he could turn those weapons, arms, and ammunition over to him, but he didn't. Yeah. Do you know how much money he gave Roosevelt Johnson for? for well, I don't know the amount there, but it's that grip of you and was sent. It was a grip. Life grip. It was a grip full of US. Yeah, with the money and it broke. Because the weapon we're talking about, question, man, is not weapon or travel war. It's conventional war weapon, country to country. Did you see the grip? What what was the size of the grip? Did you see it? Can you give us an estimate of it? Like the one firefighter that are talking about, they were talking about robot. Something that war by itself. Who the grip? It's a black grip. They, uh, uh, gentlemen, great, like, so it's like a regular size grip yes. that men usually use. A regular size grip that yeah, that was, men usually use. Yes. Okay. The burden can just run one more step with it. 
you mentioned that during the April 6 uh, fighting, uh, you said Kroma had, Mr. Alhaji Kroma yeah. had connection with the Chinese, who, yes. who you said supplied Mr. Kroma with arms and ammunition. Yeah. Which he, Kroma, you said, turned over to Taylor yeah. to help Taylor war. Um, the Chinese who you said supplied him, uh, can you say a little bit more about about this information that yes, the Chinese supplied Taylor, I mean, or Kuma with No, Kuma and Taylor. Yeah, Kuma. Mm -hmm. Is that the camp of Al Haji Kuma go to this contact and get this nomination? He was part of the six man council. Kuma was traveling. The high went out there and made a contact. But the ammunition came and landed in Guinea, Conakry. That true Conakry is part of the ammunition to bring it to Liberia. But the Balan one were delayed. That he entered Liberia when they called for the ceasefire. So it stopped in Manhattan. And my getting to know was the 1999 war when Alahaji Kroman was in Conakry. And immediately sent Philip Kamara. That we should get together immediately to launch the attack against Charles Taylor, 1999. And there were Philip Kamara and other brothers that sat me down with Bobby Sherry, I think he should be here today, that was suppressed in Guinea by Aja Kone and Sebu Kone. God released him today, he came. But he was in Konokri, on the hostage. Because you say we all Allah had you from our revolution can go. That woman here today. You also so that with in 99, they were about to know that the early hour and ammunition that were given on the April 6th war fighting came from China by Allah had you GB from her. Um, you also mentioned that in 1992 after Octopus. Yeah. You you took over Papua County, yeah. or mm -hmm. and when you you entered the town, yeah, you saw the your children and widows yeah. on the dryer, yeah, with fire under them, yes. Were they alive or they were already dead? Yeah. They were dead. They drying them because they, maybe they are they taking their days to eat them. And you said it was all women and children. Women and children. Some from is here eating among them. The children when they dry, you know, like monkey being and the big person almost you know, like deer or something, you know, bigger. But they were human beings. They were not uh, bush animal. Can you remember how many dryers you, you saw with? The they were one very big dryer. And how many human beings you think were on the dryer? There were many women who would have cut the dryer down to dump them over from the fire and we said what on the fire. Which town was this? Was it Babolu City? Babolu town, says it. Because from Babolu, before you go to the quarry. And before you got there, the NPFL was in charge of the era? They were in charge. When we got there, we overrun them. Do you know any of the names of any of the commanders or generals who were in charge of well, the Well, one of the commanders that I know were not captured from Babolu and were captured you from, uh, from Sumon Jebe, from the ferry way. And they call him devil walking, God walking. Devil walking, God walking? Yes. And he said, let me today, it should be in my country. We didn't kill him. He joined us. We all fight. Took our bomb mines, Kakata. Where Taylor got in and killed his whole family in Kakata. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, my last question to you, just for the sake of clarification. Yeah. You mentioned um, Mr. Prince Johnson. You said he had lots of orphans that he carried on his base, or if I'm quoting you that correctly, I hope I am. Yes. Say he was doing SOS. Yeah, like a charity organization. Charity the organization SOS. with them. Yeah. And you said after he killed their parents. Yes, he did. Now, what do you know about this of uh, Johnson killing the parents of his children? Did you see it? Did you hear it? Ah, oh, thank you. When Johnson is a school, Benjamin Yeten has people crying on the name of Yeten. He had no one else that knew it then. He was commanded by himself. That he made to King King. 
You understand? Many of you children are away from the bomb mines today. When we go to bomb mines at your level, to the story that will explain of these 13 old townships that left Mima County, that came to go here and tell us together, that he didn't understand, put the police over them and kill them. It's true. But we got a bomb man, we got the story from the people that were there. Thank you very much. Okay.
And at the end of the discussion, I believe that it was something to be paid back in return. When we engaged in the name of okay, what we took the other bombing here, Jalo, General Jalo, one of my late boys, today he's a general too for nine in Guinea, as a chief security, chief security for operation for SECO. Jalo escaped from the Ulema K because he was assigned with the late Duba, General Duba. He escaped, he came with a dime and gave it to D. Roosevelt Joseph. So I showed that he paid in return. Now you talk about one SVU that was with you, one small ball. And can you tell us how the recruitment of these small children were done? How did you recruit them as general at that time? Mm -hmm. You see, that what I tell you, I said war is nothing good. The war fighting on this revolution was grown up welfare. People come and say, go read that. The guerrilla warfare, before you become a guerrilla, you have to become an infantryman. You have to go through the process to bring it back before you become a guerrilla because it's a disciplined organization as a guerrilla. But it was a guerrilla warfare. Where so long I can remember it's on Broad Street and I can be able to pull God and men together in the BME, I all right as a general. And nothing can stop it because the men are the they are defending me as a general. But the FB unit we're talking about today, the many of these children were children that saw their parents how they killed them. And were waiting to retaliate. So the best organization that they could see that were set there is the journey. And they were war, there is no way that we could push them away. So they were always with us. It's true. Now, going back to the three months war in yeah. Bamiyo, mm -hmm. you said about 600 Ecomos soldiers were killed. Yeah. I just want to know because you talk about soldiers coming back. Now, all these 600 soldiers that were killed, all of them were on the truck? Or how come and how? Some of them were killed by exchange of fire. Some of them were killed by the checkpoints that they had along the road because we knew all the checkpoints. So we were doing bushes patrol, hit checkpoint, and attack. We were coming from the bush and attack because they were only basically along the road. So we were coming from bushes and attacking every checkpoint along the road. Then many of them last late after we got arms and ammunition, they were coming from Morovia on trucks and they were ambushed. There were good team trucks were ambushed between the clay and Morovia Highway. And every other truck was jammed back. And none of them escaped. The 11 men. Yeah. That. How long the same place with you before you release them? The 11 Tanzania soldiers. It was the same very day because D. Roosevelt Johnson was in Canada when the thing happened. So the very day after we, 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 we apprehended and brought them. We we'll finished for that year. We we'll said in front of Roosevelt Johnson. Roosevelt Johnson, when I took them over to Kononia, in Canada, as the regiment commander that I took them to KRTT, I already had a base, teacher institute, training institute in Canada. Because right near me, there we are. There were the times years were based in the Pujan Island, I was told. Besides, you put General Rambo. Can you remember the name of the general that was there at that time, that was with the Limo? You live on Jay? Yes, you live on Jay. It was one myself, we talk about Emma Chai, we talk about General Smith, we talk about General, uh, our chief of staff at that today, uh, Charles Den, we talk about General Duba, we talk about General Mo, CEO Mo, he, I, I think he, he said to me here, but we have been who died for a minute. For a minute. Many generals. You see, when Yulimo was coming, more Yulimo. As a whole. As a whole. Uh -huh. Most of the people that joined Yulimo were from the 6th Battalion, is that correct? 
So they were all trained. Many of them. Many of them were trained. Yeah, majority were trained. And only those that came from Guinea. Okay, so you people, you are trained. Those who are trained, train the other people. Yeah. They do that. It means that people knew the walls of law, things that you're not supposed to do and things that you're supposed to do. Yeah. But did you observe them? Observe to see that wrong thing going on. And what I mean. That yes, these things yeah, are strange true. soldiers. Things that you're not supposed to do. You should. It hey, true, my sister. If I general sitting down on Broad Street here, what do I see on Central Street? If Morovia is under your control and you're sitting down here, and where other people have their responsibility and they are not controlling their responsibility, when did anything happen? Some of our brothers and sisters joined the war to pay debt. They were in the ship. That same man can rape my sister, and there's another new before after I joined that before to retire here. It happened. Paul leave and go to Kolbaun or village and join it. Paul has joined the other group and go to Kolbaun and village and join it. So they were plenty of enemy ships within the revolution. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So they were plenty of enemy ships within the revolution. Besides directly facing revolution. But if you divest the people of war, for example, the Yakumo soldiers who say that, call up their ears. Yeah, they turned from here, I want to see. Because they were caught on fire. We and them were had we had a chain of fire that they captured by us. So we did. Because they were paid by Taylor. And he forces to penetrate through Kagata to come to Morovia to attack. You met him on the one time he said he had 25 carats for you. And then he managed to. For since then? Yes. For since then? After I led that allegation against him? Yes, after that allegation. No, 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 I never see him. You have never been able to no, see no, him? No, 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 no. He's an elderly man. I mean, at that time we were desperate, we wanted him because they was the one that, you know, were already on top of the killing our people. He told my brother, so he just a led charge against him. So you get that phone to me with all the no way. So if you had the opportunity to be able to see Mr. Kamara, what would you tell him? Well, that's why you told us, that's why I told you, sir. Nobody came here to say, General Rambo did this and did that. Rambo himself was arrested by God. And you know why he was arrested by God? Because these are our rebel leaders that say they stay there, you must apologize, they got ways of convincing that many people don't know their lives and put it online and where many people die from the trust that you go anything that you need. And if they are riches and it's not them, it's our king. Go on camping for the purpose of today to tell you. The colonel of them and what they have done to us. Many of you had a right to live. They came up with trouble. That convinced some people who were not in here for Barra, they were forced to take it. They convinced some people under the impression that the end, you will be there, you will be there. So because of what you will be, he plumped himself so much to the war, and he ain't that. And his wife and children, he lived until they were all nothing. Go and arrest me and bring me here today is to say the truth and nothing but the truth. So bring the truth there, they don't even say it. Because you say your time. But I think it was better that when somebody come here, you should give me the chance to put down his gut. That they are done, 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 done. Because having come to what I have said of 1999, today now they don't want me to tell you they're not sure. And we said that we gave you the opportunity to call you by, you know, so that you be able to explain what's happened from 1999 to 2000. You know what I'm afraid to say that yeah, you should give me the chance to put down his gun. 
maybe the chance of holding you coming back. Can you imagine from the time Emmanuel Buya was speaking that taught me when I was laying down to wake up because of true story? He said, Yes, I know what I was going to speak for. I was going to talk. And I came here and put my head up. And they took me to 9th Street. Imagine from the time Buya spoke. Well, my knee is not on your document at all because nobody can say this dead man came in, he raped me all, he did that, he did that, I saw no. My knee not dead. But I was arrested by God and brought me in. I have to go and meet Jerome Vaudier, the chairman. Nine Street of Day said, if you will not allow me to speak, I will ask for air time from the Star Radio. And stay gave my testimony. I'm not afraid. I will tell the Nigerian people. You think the thing that happened in Nigeria that joke? It's serious. So he said, Rambo, he said, is that Philip Wulu? You know, and the name Philip Wulu, the first thing found that that man is a warrior that was part of the war. A young man, maybe some Philip Wulu that's a banner, and he went to one young man from that's not in that town. So he knows that man coming here with a cheat. But I fought all the war from 1989 to the end of the reset that today we have from this. And never for the war to be a junior. I was responsible. Men that help people to death. You are responsible. I let people to death. And it was not right. If he had no power for fighting for, Peter would not follow the army because of what he see me doing and your follower as a follower to, to, to do. But he was not, he is right now. And all these rebel leaders, they bought drugs. They bought drugs. They have it with the board. That they used to say in the full land, they put in the German food. That when you eat, then you don't have no sense. You love the animal. So I have invested a case of mine. I see a son raped his own mother. He bought her mother. I invested a case. What father or mother or uncle call you to tell you what you do? It is not right. Leave it. Let do it this way and this way and kill. Me. They were not sound. They did this thing because the children were not there. They used all people as an instrument. The people died. People died that had no right to die. I will not tell you, say, I didn't do innocent kids. How do I know? Before catch up in a time, there were innocent people. And I and the enemy went on through one and six. And end up in that time, the time people live there. It is the men that are men or I mean, who know? Who they both know? So when people say, ask me, I said that too. Because if I were not to go that day and attack that town or village, they won't have died that. But because I was chasing the enemy, and where they have the better enemy from our border exchange, people die. Who is responsible? We are responsible. Every of we the rebel group of different different factions, everybody there by local different folks were taking retaliation for the the the, the, the limo okay. Until that oil they can boil the drug and put you there to fry. Hot water. But my guy that had you when he, he was killed in the area in Guinea that they call. Oh, the town they owe my people. In Guinea when he came to the border. He was caught in that town. There we and they tie up and move the most, 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 most way and fry it. Every group was bad. There is nothing good into the revolution. 
That when we all come here, there's a few more white there here with glory. Why? It happened. Many of us went to, to heaven. It. They had the bulletproof, they had no bulletproof to give us. They gave some of our children there, yes, some of our demons. That when you see the videos that before you start doing the people talking about how you do this, oh, when? No, man. I think so. But it happened. Somebody ever let gave wrong medicine to the children. Our reverend leader brought drugs and gave to the children. So men who been on a drug for 14 years, do you wait in that now he should be signed enough like us? Perhaps. Because he had a drug before I know that son. I didn't think I bring a baby. I don't take drugs. He slapped me, I will never get a chance before I will slap him. In any way that I think I can get you, I will get you. Because I believe in being dead. This is my role, my father gave me. I still walk with him. Anything will be more I can know. But what I know, people came here, uh, they research and you we gotta be careful as a Liberian. Nobody found that they want to boast. What bring you have said with Joe Wallet? It worked out well with some of us because we are afraid of what we know that everything over. To say that you said it one time, but well born. If the TRC have extended any report to the world that even to come for any of me, I'm waiting that even from Reyes, you say you're getting for the poor man for any brand that's for me, I'm waiting to walk to the jail. Nobody can go on for it. For he bring I'm going to say, you're probably here in trouble, let me see what he can run from me. Nobody make anybody afraid. This is the time I'm all ready to take a step. This is the time. God is ready to address every one of us that has very untrustworthy. So if you are being in love with the Liberian people to accept your apology or not, but you are not bad to talk about resisting, there is no resisting. So that the time bomb, they should keep it to where they got it. Okay. General Poo. Hmm? General Poo. Mr. Witness, don't make us all sound here. Okay. General, I get a sound here. Mr. Witness. I'm Commissioner Pearl Brown Bull. At the end of my comments of my questioning, I have yeah, wanted to ask you a question that you just answered. Yeah, After all of this, what do you want the TRC to recommend for Philip D. Wello, alias? General Yam Rambo. Yeah. But I think you answered that just now. Yeah. That was the end of all I wanted to say. What should what should we recommend? Because you know, you use a word go time. Yeah. And like I always say, you only born, I will stay black and I will die. Yeah. Because that's the time. Yes. But there's another time now, adding to before you die, that everyone must stand the judgment on earth before you look for the one in heaven. Yes. So I want to say to you, thank you for how you feel at the end of all what you said. Okay. Now, General Rambo, we yes. have heard unless there might be some General Ramos because I've heard his name, General Ramos, before too when we went around, I went around 14 counties. Mm -hmm. is, uh, is there, or are there other General Ramos that you know or you know you the only name 
of General Rambo. And just my own question, I, I don't let it be short, short, but I calculate thing, yeah, but I know substantive thing here. Yeah. Do you know or did you hear there were any other General Rambo? Yeah. Le Pue, or in which fashion? The MPFL House, General Rambo. Okay. On the 89th or 90th when they were coming. He got that recently on the 2002 at Guinea mm -hmm. to where we call Choir Man. Okay, you know. Prince Johnson has a full cool rumble. Prince Johnson, I hate you. Yeah, we're in the IMPF. Yeah. Okay. In Limo, as a whole, we were having almost a full cool rumble. Okay. But I was feeling rumble from the AFL, National AFL. You know. To the Defund Forces. That's the first thing. Some other things you talk you will correct them. Yeah. But for you, that's a, that's a reason I asked because we've been here for all around us <laughs> and people have testified. So they will make the guerrilla warfare complicated, and this will make our job more complicated and more challenging. That's why for us. As Commissioner Mark of Fiction, yeah. we got to proceed with caution. Yeah. Because what we do all to whatever it, it has criminal nature. Yeah. I don't care what they can say we sit in here, we be sitting in power that church of this sacred place. We talk about crimes. Crime is criminal. And as a lawyer of 27 years practice, mm. they say it better the feeling I learned. It better for ten guilty persons to go free than for one innocent person to suffer. Mm -hmm. So I care because why? If we come and we make our let me talk for poor brown mm -hmm. Come on signature, I will put it when I put it there, everything I responsible. And when I put my signature, nobody will make me responsible. Mm -hmm. When we come and finish doing our work and we pass it to say this is what we recommend. Yeah. Whether that war crime code, that criminal code, that domestic code, or the Palawa Hub. Yeah. What we say that it just that what we recommend that a judgment. What we say we put in but we say do this to somebody that it. And later when they go, whether to the Palawa Hub, to the church house to war crime or any kind of court and they can find out that what we say they can find out that lie you know what that be mm -hmm. our integrity my integrity yeah, it's not we stand so that's why i want to go first to ask how many ramos because we've been hearing of other ramos so thank you for coming and confessing okay. openly what I saw the internal questions I want to ask. Okay. You said they never call you, TRC never call you. I you were among your sitting among the group and in your age. Yeah. And you were touched when Emmanuel Guyos yeah. spoke. Yeah. Good time, we gave him time and he spoke and he lost. Then he's a rebel to you know. So you were touched and you came here, we all spoke of, when we came back with one of the friends, but thank God, you talked to the people, you talked to the chairman. I just want to know, when did you go to TR, you went to the TRC inquiry unit and you gave a statement to yeah, somebody yeah. there, you, you got what I did. Yeah, Trouble Swap. Trouble Swap? Yeah. One other thing is on the camera with me. Okay, but then we talk about who are we're one of those oh, yeah. who you went and gave your statement to. Yeah, man. When you got an idea, when the reason I asked. They buried it and then they carried it in the ministry. It's been one month, two months. One or two months, two months, yeah, one or two months. Okay, maybe it's some the second time they did it. October or something. The chief sent for me. Who? Uh, to the uh, body. For you? Yes. When he sent for you? I went there. You went there, you talk again? Yes. I Who you talk to? I talk to him. Who you gave the information to him? Yeah, Alright. Thank you. Now, 
we know information will carry to him, chairman and to professor. Now I can proceed. Or uh, did you tell the chairman or Troublesua that uh, Commissioner John Steele was recruited into the Black Parade in 1991 during the Sawyer administration? Mr. Wu? Did you tell the chairman for a year, yeah. or Troublesua, who you spoke with? that Commissioner John Stewart was okay. recruited into the Blackberry in 1991 during the Sawyer administration. If you remember, yes, yes you, you told him that. Yeah, that. Who did you tell it to? Sua or the chairman? John Sua. You told yeah, it to John Sua. Yeah, I think the chairman is there. You told it to the chairman too? Because I agree. Okay. okay. Now, when you were speaking, you mentioned so just for correction. I can only correct on what I know on yeah. most of these other things I don't know. Did, when you were speaking first, you said Ambassador Carlton Carpet, yeah, that who of was of in Sierra Leone and the train before. Yeah, but the truth from my knowledge, it was not Carlton Carpet. Carlton Carpet, he was Ambassador to Cameroon and Information. He never was involved, so we haven't had any information of Carlton Carpet until you just said it. I was wondering whether General you didn't Carpet. know the name. Because Carpet. General Carpet, there was an Albert Carpet mm -hmm. who was ambassador to Sierra Leone. So I want to make sure of the name, because you said Carlton Carpet and it's recording. I took no He was a General Carpet. So who is it? Is it Carlton Carpet or Albert Carpet? It should be the Ivor Carpet, but I have no carpet or egg in the uh, seven room. Okay. I so and he was the ambassador there. Yes, then the record okay. was reflect that it was General Albert Carpet and not General, I mean, an uh, ambassador for using the word Carlton Carpet. No. He might have a heart attack if he heard his name was just mentioned. He's a war in the army. Yeah, okay. Now, you told us. So at least today it's confirmed that Limo J. Honor Roosevelt Johnson was the group that killed the Ecomot soldiers. So they were like all Nigerian soldiers. A, so a, you confirmed that, yeah? In Bombay Hill. In Bombay Hill. Yeah. Okay. In the battle. All right. Although they say it was 450, but you say it's 600, perhaps they didn't 600 want. according to the roster, they brought the total back. Okay, maybe they didn't want for the same propaganda no. for us to know that we were killed. Now, <laughs> uh, you said, and you say that a black beret yeah. fought with Ecomog. You saw the black, this black beret. Not against Ecomog. But fought with them. Yeah, with Ecomog. So, black, a, black beret and Ecomog fought who? Who did they fight? Well, MPFL. So, they were fighting MPFL. Yeah. Okay, so that's the role of Blackberry. Yeah. The job as the first. The second fighting was when Charles Drew entered the mansion. Okay. Blackberry. So, Blackberry yeah. for two. Ebo, do you have an idea for how many people you know were with Blackberry? Although you were not there, but you know who were some of the people who were recruiting them. You have an idea how big was this black parade? If it is recruitment, I will tell you, say yes, Joe Wally was one. Joe Wally was? Well, one of the recruitment men because at my place on the capital of Barbados. Okay. Where I have my boot. Okay. They were always he used to come. Okay. When the children come, he lays their name. Mm -hmm. All right, because you know it's important, they got some who say many are called, few mm -hmm. are chosen. So we have 20,000. Uh, or statements that people have made in TRC. Yeah. So when those who are fortunate to come and sit in that seat, you understand? Yeah. They represent many people, they represent specific factions, they represent certain groups. Mm -hmm. But we on TRC is supposed to be neutral yeah. to balance the scale. Mm -hmm. So now at least 
when Joe Wally came, he came as something from group from at least for now, at least I know he also what will Blackberry. Alright. You have you been frank and you told us. Do you feel? Because from what I can see, because 1990, our MPFF Prince Johnson group killed one man called Say, kill your mother in West Point. Yeah. So that's why you went to start the ball rolling by first joining, you were with AFL, and you went to Ulimo, you were with Ulimo J, you were with LPC, you were with Lofa Defense Board. You are with a coalition for national justice. If anyone that I'm seeing in that correct, you can tell me. God did my own research too on you. You are with, you are also a battlefront commander for law. And one thing you This didn't follow. Eh? This didn't follow with me, Lord. Okay. But one Nobody thing, knows. yeah, one thing you did you haven't mentioned yet and we will talk. You are the head of mission fighting for the Guinea government. Yes, I did. Okay. Can you explain them more on that? How you became went to fight for not against but for the Guinea government? Who recruited you? Who you were fighting against? And they didn't even tell us uh, whether they paid you or what because we they are our neighbors. Mm -hmm. And everything that came, we saw a leader came from Sierra Leone. Tell to Ben here. It either came from Aracos, it came from Burkina Faso, it came to Guinea. So we can see that although this first black African country who fought for the independence of all their neighbors and joined regional organizations with them for economy, for peace, for security. And we just here uh, looking at our bitter past. To enable us to have a present, safe development and environment for a better future for our children and my grandchildren. Okay. So we will learn from this. So we'll be able to know how to go ahead. Okay, okay. Because we've seen a lot of deceit, hypocrisy, conspiracy. 